Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Sunday Live activation. How's everybody doing today? So today we're going to be talking about the solar plexus. This is part three in our chakra series. I'm super excited for those who have done the root and the sacral chakra. Let me know, how are you guys feeling? So what I subscribed or prescribed <laughs> for this chakra series is to focus on each chakra for one week. That's exactly how the star beings taught me how to do it. I focused on every single one for a full week and it made such a huge impact in my life. And, and Victor, oh, thank you, Christine. Yeah. So Victor, the moderator, he's been in the hospital this whole week. And so he's, he has COVID and he has something else too. So he's been kind of having a rough time. So if everybody can just send him some, some love and healing real quick to Victor, I believe he's still in the hospital. So let's just send him some love, send him some good vibes, send him some healing, see him, see him healing and recovering. He is a phenomenal moderator, and it is not the same without him. Thank you, everybody, for sending him some love and healing. Okay, now let's see. Robin says, hi, Lily. Working on my chakras has been really revealing. Thanks, Karen. I saw Katie had just something too, said something too. Uh, so we have Katie coming on for this week of Starseed Chats. So it's going to be like a community chat. You know, she's a member of the community. I did a reading on her. She's who I went to Arkansas with. So we'll be having an interesting conversation, talk about some of her Starseed Awakening, and also talk about plant medicine. So she's on that plant medicine journey. Uh, would a Kundalini activation be good after the chakras? Yeah. So in working with your chakras, you are, what we're doing here is we're unblocking and th this energy because the, the star beings, especially the Pleiadians, they always show me this. They show me the snake. And so that is your energy going up and your Kundalini energy is so, so powerful. It gives you the ability to manifest. It, it just raises your consciousness. It allows you to access more of who you truly are. And especially with the solar plexus that we're going to be doing today, the solar plexus is, well, it's typically depicted as gold or yellow. And it's in around this area right here, kind of in between like your, your ribs above your navel. And that's your center for power. Very, very powerful chakra center. So growing up on earth and even from past life traumas, especially on earth, you know, um, the, the way that the system works, it's made to make us feel insignificant. It's made to make us feel like unsure about ourselves, not being able to step into our power, fear of judgment, all of these things, it really causes an, it causes an imbalance and trauma to get stuck in the solar plexus. So tapping into your solar plexus is going to be so incredibly powerful. And the solar plexus is also associated with the Merkaba, which is a very powerful light body that's around your physical body. And we did a, a, a Merkaba activation not too long ago. And the morning before we did that, the star being sent me a dream. They sent me a message and they showed me everybody's Merkabas coming online. And then it shifted the entire planet. So activating your Merkaba, stepping into and activating your solar plexus is going to be very, very powerful in shifting the entire planet. It's going to help you, you know, access your light, your divine truth, who you truly are, stepping into your power, being able to 
shift everything around you, being able to manifest the reality that you want, feeling strong within yourself. And like what we've been talking about, so the bottom three chakras are, are commonly what the system likes to try to keep you stuck in the bottom chakras. So like I said, the energy goes up. Everybody wants to focus on the third eye, but, you know, without your bottom chakras opened, cleared, and balanced, you really can't step into your true power, and it can cause an imbalance if you just focus on the upper chakras. So focusing on the lower chakras, we got to clear all the stuff from the matrix out of there, uh, make our way up, and it's going to be incredibly powerful. So that's what, like, the system, the media, the government, all that, yada, yada, likes to try to keep you stuck in those lower chakras, stick keep you stuck in feeling afraid, feeling anxious, feeling like you don't have a strong foundation, feeling um, just fearful. That's where they like to keep you. Feeling like, you know, you just don't have the power to, to change. They like to take away our power. So yeah, we're going to be clearing all that out today. Yeah, the Merkaba meditation was so powerful. The, uh, the star beings have really been having me focus on that the past I guess it's been like two months now. Incredibly powerful. Yeah, the clearing is kind of, it can be tough. I mean, for everybody that's here right now and for everybody who's watching the replay, it's tough work. It can be tough, but it's so incredibly transformative. It will change everything for you. Whenever the ETs first had me going through my chakras, uh, by the time I got to the throat, I stopped because I was like, I'm a totally different person. <laughs> I thought I was good now, you know, like I'm good. I'm everything's changed, you know, and then, then they started showing me the third eye and they're like, okay, now you got to do your third eye and your crown. But by the time we get to the throat, it, you're probably already feeling like a different person. It's so incredibly powerful. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Zach. For the super sticker, amen, we need to master the lower chakra fir chakras first, and that unfortunately doesn't happen overnight. Yeah, that's why I suggested spending at least a week on it. And I've been having dreams this past week while working on the sacral with the Sasquatch, with different types of beings. It's all hands on deck right now. Like, they were really, really helping us, especially in the astral. And you may not remember your dreams. Um I, I've been waking up with just kind of, it's been kind of hazy, but I remember bits and pieces, like, holy smokes, I was with all of these beings last night, and they were really helping me to work on my chakras and, and clear. So even if you don't remember your dreams, know that this, this work is continuing in the astral realm. Very much worth it. And I also, I got some donations on Buy Me a Coffee, so I wanted to shout a few people out. And if you, you know, would like to support the channel, there is a Buy Me a Coffee link in the description, but I wanted to shout a few people out first. Okay, uh, someone, they didn't say their name, but someone donated yesterday, so thank you, I appreciate it. It says Bill, Renee, Michelle, thank you, I appreciate for your donation. Sandra, thank you, I appreciate it. Kyra, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, Alexei, thank you. I appreciate it. Freddie with a flamingo. Thank you. I appreciate your donation. Barbara Riches, thank you. And Greg, thank you guys so much for your donations. It really helps the channel. And I'm looking into getting like another, like a mixer, but that's going to be like four or $500 to, um, to help with the audio just to, I mean, this audio is pretty good. I have a really good mic here, but, um, to get to that next level, uh, yeah, I'm looking into investing into one of those. Thank you, Flask. Sending joyful vibes. Beautiful. Thank you. And Deanne, thank you, Garber. I appreciate it so much. Is Lowell Johnson here? Hello, Lowell. How are you doing? <laughs> so excited to see you. So today we're doing the sacral chakra. We've been, or the solar plexus. We've been working our way up. Um, let's see. So going back to the solar plexus, actually, I was about to share something on Thoth. Because, so whenever I was starting to discover this in the beginning, Thoth was a being, he's known as Thoth the Atlantean. He was like a, a master teacher, alchemist in, uh, in Atlantis. And also, I believe he helped start ancient Egypt after Atlantis fell. 
um, he may have been the one to help build the pyramids. And you've heard of like the ancient Egyptian mystery schools. So he played a part in that. And he's also visiting a lot of us now and guiding a lot of us now. So he's the one, I didn't even know who he is. He's depicted as being the bird being from ancient Egypt, the, the avian. I didn't even know who he was. I did an Akashic Records meditation before I even knew what the Akashic Records was. And Thoth appeared to me. And then he he took me over the sea, over the ocean. And he took me to this beautiful city. And it was Atlantis. And he said, you're from Atlantis. You're an Atlantean. So he started appearing to me. And he's helped me so much. He really helped me with my solar plexus. So I wanted to invite Thoth in today. He has really taught me how to step into my power. And as you do that, your consciousness raises and expands. It's so exciting. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> so I actually want to show you guys a video that I took where Thoth came to visit me. This actually manifested in our physical reality. So I was out one day making contact. You know, I was filming the clouds. I was out with my camera, setting the intention to make contact. Suddenly, there were some clouds going by. Suddenly, it's like a normal cloud. Then suddenly, a bird being stands up in these clouds. And you can hear my voice. I'm like, oh, my God, it looks like a bird. What's going on? It was so, like, blatantly obvious that they moved the clouds to look like that. And then it goes back out, back down. But then after that, Tons of orbs starting sh started shooting in. Tons of light ships, sacred geometry just started shooting down. And I, suddenly I felt it in my solar plexus. And I felt my consciousness expanding. It was a very profound experience. And it was Thoth and others who were actually like appearing and manifesting. So I want to show you guys this um, this video that I caught real quick. It's so exciting to see this, to see this stuff manifesting in the physical world. Okay. So you can see, hopefully you can see it, but there's a bunch of orbs coming from the sky. And then I, this incredible orb appears. It's like sacred geometry that's morphing. So give it just a second on its way back up. There it was, and we're going to do a slow motion. Look at that thing. incredible I call it like the Rubik's Cube because it's just like morphing and changing shape absolutely incredible absolutely do you guys not see it <sighs> why does it do that to me <laughs> Can you see it now? <laughs> so annoying. Sorry about that. Let me know if you can see it now and I'll replay it. Yeah, I got to laugh about it. Okay, here it is. It looks like a Rubik's Cube. It's a golden orb just shifting. Hopefully you guys can see it this time. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Please tell me you saw it. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, so it was like this huge, there were tons of orbs that just started shooting down and I had a very profound experience. So I'd like to invite Thoth here today also to assist in this. Robert Light, hi. Yeah, yeah, the tech can be can be some issues. Hi, Marcus. So we did a... Uh, we did a group DNA session yesterday and I'm so freaking exhausted. I slept like all day and I'm probably going to sleep again after this. So if you've sent me an email <laughs> the past couple of days, it may take me a few days to uh, get through it. There's so much energy going on. Okay. So yeah, that was just um, a really cool physical manifestation that happened. Very profound experience. So we'll invite Thoth here to assist us with this. These star beings would also uh, like for us to focus on the Merkaba a little bit because that's deeply connected with your solar plexus. Yeah, and if you take pictures of the clouds or film the clouds, like you can catch some of these orbs. You got to shoot near the sun. Tons of orbs, like dozens, dozens just started shooting out. And it, I labeled that folder the day I realized the power within because it was so profound. So profound. So if you have any weaknesses in your solar plexus or imbalance, um, this could manifest as blood sugar issues, diabetes, um, blood sugar related illness, uh, gastrointestinal issues or complications. So imbalances can actually, you know, manifest as physical experiences. Um, and and uh, also the solar plexus is is connected with the fire element. So I've got a candle burning back there. So a couple things that you can do to help balance and clear your solar plexus, which we will start the activation in just a couple minutes here um, with my singing bowls. But some other things that you can do, and I highly recommend doing this throughout the next week until we do the heart chakra next Sunday. Uh, fire is related to the solar plexus. The sun is related to the solar plexus. So you can light a candle like I have up there. You can visualize and, and just stare into this candle and, and set the intention that it's burning away anything that may be blocking or imbalancing your uh, solar plexus. And also you can wear the color yellow or uh, gold. That can help because every color is a different frequency. So that can help open this, this chakra, this energy center. Uh, there are also crystals uh, like yellow citrine, um, I believe tiger's eye and different crystals that you can use and keep on you to help balance this chakra to open and balance. Yep, I wore my Ankh today for Thoth <laughs> and it's gold for the solar plexus. So burning a candle to help balance movement, yoga, stretches. So we're moving. Somebody had mentioned the kundalini energy. So what we're doing here, working with these chakras, we're opening and balancing our energy centers so that this energy can move throughout our body. And it is so incredibly powerful whenever you, you can move around efficiently. So you can also do stretches. You can do yoga. You can you know, go for a walk. You can uh, do an exercise where you're breathing in fire since it's associated with fire, breathing fire into the solar plexus. Uh, the sunlight will also help. So maybe in the early morning or on sunrise, you go out for a walk or, you know, just at any time of the day, uh, stand in the sun for a minute, spend like at least 10 minutes out in the sun. And you can even visualize those light codes going into your solar plexus in your solar plexus becoming like a radiant sun. And walking. Uh, there's something called sun salutations, which I think is really cool. I haven't done them yet, but I think it's like a yoga pose that you do to the sun. So that sounds kind of fun. My friend Jen uh, wanted to do that with you guys on Telegram sometime. Um, so I think that would be fun to do. There are a couple other different deities that are that are uh, said to reside in this chakra. So these are Lord Shiva and Agni. So I haven't personally worked with them, but I thought it would be fun since they're kind of like the, the they reside in the solar plexus to invite them as well. Yeah, Qigong would be really good. And there are a couple chants too, with uh, according to the yogis, that can help. 
So just a couple examples. So just saying these chants or listening to these chants can also help to open the solar plexus. So an example is dum, nam, tam, and ram. So you could just sit there and be like dum and kind of do that over and over again and visualize your, your uh, solar plexus. Words are very powerful. All right, then I guess that was about it. That was about it. Is everybody about ready? Oh, let me um, shout out real quick. So uh, Hopewell Farm CBD, if you are interested in CBD, um, we're actually doing 20% off right now. 20% off all products and then uh, free shipping on orders over 200 so Hopewell Farm CBD is doing this until April 23rd, I believe. So we're running this 20% off promo and with code Lily420. And you can get that with the link in the description. It's near the bottom of the description. And I guess that was about it. Yep, that's about it. If you're here, please like this video. If you're watching the replay, please like this video. And we will get started with the activation in just one second. All right, everybody ready? Thank you, Michael, for sharing. Thank you, Jason. The difference in the navel chakra or the solar plexus chakra. Um, so the solar plexus, I believe, is a little bit higher up near the ribs. Um, I know that we have like seven main chakras that are very popular, but we have like over 100 chakras in our body. So it could be a different, there could be smaller ones in between there. Uh, the solar plexus, some people may call that the no, the uh, the navel chakra. I'm not 100% sure. Or this can be another chakra that's in between the seven main ones. There we go. Solar covers stomach and gallbladder. All right, guys. There's also like different meditations you can find on YouTube of, of those chants. All right. So we'll go ahead and get started now. This will be a solar plexus clearing, healing, opening, balancing. All right. Thank you, Diana. Just go ahead and start taking a few deep breaths in and starting to relax. Get into a comfortable position. We are starting this guided meditation activation Reiki session for quantum healing, opening and balancing of the solar plexus. See your bottom three chakras. We've worked on the root the sacral, the solar plexus. As we work our way up the chakras, you are becoming transformed, balanced life energy, access to your life force. Now we will call in all deities who are associated with the solar plexus to assist us in this activation today. 
We ask that Thoth the Atlantean be here with us to help us step into our power. We ask that our cosmic families be here with us, our galactic guides, the angels, And feel the energy shift as you are surrounded. We also have Yeshua here with us. Mary Magdalene. See yourself surrounded by these wonderful beings, by so much light. We call in Archangel Michael, the Archangels of North, East, South, and West to hold this sacred space for us, holding each side of our energetic field. Bringing platinum light down the walls and closing you in a sacred space of light Archangel Metatron comes from the Grand Central Sun and Yeshua with the Christ grid, Christ consciousness. You may see this as a beautiful golden light making its way down space through the sky and entering into the chop of your crown chakra, the energy center at the top of your head. You become a pillar of light. This opens you up to receiving downloads, activations, and healings from the divine. And see this golden light, the Christ grid, being brought down and anchored into your solar plexus. Focusing on your solar plexus now, above your navel, your navel, in between your ribs, focusing your attention and intention on this part of your body, on this energy center. It may appear to be a murky or dim color. You may see some imbalances in there. Thoth steps forward and begins sending light and frequencies along with your ascension team to this energy center. As this happens, see or feel it beginning to pulse as it reawakens. Your solar plexus begins to expand. And begins to fill with light. Your ascension team pulls this chakra wide open, expanding it beyond your body. for a deep clearing, healing, and balancing. They 
look inside this chakra as it fills with light. You may see some imbalances, some tears or impurities that have caused your confidence to dwindle or be taken away. Anytime your power has been taken away from you, from this lifetime or past lifetimes, gently see these circumstances and situations any emotions associated with a weak solar plexus beginning to come up to the surface gently to be healed and cleared. Any blockages to your solar plexus From this lifetime or past lifetimes, any traumas that your solar plexus is holding on to? Are now being transmuted with this powerful loving light. See this light washing through all of these situations, those trapped emotions, transmuting And now we call on the violet flame of transmutation and transformation. See the violet flame pouring into your solar plexus. This beautiful violet fire. Powerful ascension energy has the ability to transmute and transform anything. Saint Germain in the Violet Flame. Just allowing any blockages or imbalances to be transmuted by this violet fire. And now we call upon Archangel Michael to help cut, remove, pull out any negative cords or attachments affecting your solar plexus from this lifetime, from past lifetimes. See Archangel Michael appear with his sword. Even ancestral trauma that may have been passed down from parents, grandparents, that may be affecting the solar plexus. Archangel Michael cuts and pull these cords out now, freeing your solar plexus, clearing your solar plexus. So you may regain your power The violet fire continues to transmute and clear, and soon you begin to see life returning to this energy center.
energy begins to swirl through this energy vortex, this powerful energy vortex, harmoniously, freely. We now release the violet flame. After clearing all blockages, any imbalances that can be cleared at this time. And now see your power begin to return to you. Your solar plexus begins to light up a beautiful golden yellow color. It's becoming more and more vibrant with each and every breath. Breathing life into your solar plexus. Still focusing on this part of your body. See your solar plexus becoming a bright, fiery sun. Feel a surge of energy running through your body, coming from your solar plexus, from your sun. Pulsing and reverberating, spreading throughout your entire being. And your energetic field shifting you into a higher frequency. Shifting you into your true power, your true divinity. You can feel yourself sitting up or standing up much stronger with conviction, with power, with confidence. And now your ascension team makes any last adjustments to your solar plexus, to your energetic field. Before this vibrant sun begins to shrink back to its normal size, perfectly balanced, harmonized and as your solar plexus returns to its perfect natural state suddenly your Merkaba is activated also a golden color bright like the sun see this light body around your physical body, begin to light up, connected with your solar plexus. Your Merkaba is a 3D pyramid with an upside down 3D pyramid, looking like the Star of David or a six pointed star. This is your chariot to ascension. And as you breathe, breathe life and light into your solar plexus and your Merkaba. Every breath, it becomes stronger. With every breath, you become 
lighter and brighter. With every breath, your consciousness rises. You can feel yourself ascending into higher frequencies. And now we ask that if Thoth, dear Thoth, or any members of your Ascension team or Solar Plexus guides, if they would like to show you something, give you a message, we ask that we do so. They do so now at this time. Just trust whatever comes to you. This may just be an expanded awareness. It may be a personal message. Feeling your solar plexus and Merkaba pulsing with light, pulsing with life. Your Kundalini energy now begins to flow more freely through your body, through your solar plexus. Your life force energy becomes stronger. Feeling this energy flowing freely with strength through your energy center, through the rest of your body. Okay, feeling stronger, feeling brighter, feeling more in your power, shining like a bright golden light with your Merkaba light body. Your Merkaba begins to spin as it gains power and momentum. Connected to your solar plexus. This brings you harmony and balance, healing. And now we will go ahead and ground this energy. deeply rooting ourselves in the 5D crystalline grid of the earth, becoming a bright pillar of light. Our light shines brighter and see each one of our lights, our Merkabas, our light bodies, our solar plexus, our suns, shining so bright and spreading throughout the entire planet shifting the entire planet as we all step into our power. The planet begins to shine golden light, expanding our awareness, achieving Christ consciousness,
Now we say thank you to our dear friend Thoth, to our guides, to Lord Shiva, the yogis, our galactic star family, the archangels, Archangel Michael, sending all of them our love and deep gratitude. And whenever you are ready, you may begin coming back with an open, clear solar plexus as well as sacral and root. See them shining so bright. And whenever you are ready, you may want to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then let me know how you feel. How's everybody feeling? Did anybody else have any issues seeing the video? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, somebody did this outside. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I bet this would be really powerful to do under the sun for sure. <gasps> Tabitha, that's so awesome. A purple blob shaped like Sasquatch appeared behind my eyes. It surprised me because I've never tried to connect with them. <laughs> They've been around me for the past two weeks straight. And they're assisting a lot of people right now. So that's pretty cool. They're awesome. They're very great energy healers. They're, yeah, they're really great with energy. Thank you, Kat. Carol was lovely. Didn't want to come back. Yeah. I wanted to go longer. My wrist started to kind of hurt, though, from holding the bowl. <laughs> awesome. Becky, John, feeling great. Tara, welcome to the live. Great meditation. Oh, Lorraine could feel the solar plexus vibrating. Very peaceful. Zach, wow, this was relaxing. I felt a surge of energy right before you said feel it. Awesome. Yeah, while um, they're like showing me and guiding me what to do with my eyes closed. So, and I bet they're also, you guys are also connected to that. So sometimes you may see something before I even verbally express it, which is pretty cool. We're all connected. Nick brought the high power from Thoth today, a million percent. So much more in tune after these. Same messages too from all guides. Keep going. I like that. The violet flame came in waves. Yeah, I wasn't expecting St. Germain to pop in today. Definitely doing it out of the sun. Melanie, it was amazing, beautiful. Carrie, for a split second, could sworn I was in another reality and could see it clearly. That's pretty cool. Yeah, whenever we do these meditations, we are we're, our consciousness is like leaving. <laughs> Fernando with the triangle. Leah, my message was just take the first step, and I totally know what... That is about. That's amazing. That's awesome. Sharon, beautiful and amazing. So, and if you guys want to uh, focus on this for the next week, the solar plexus, that will be incredibly powerful. You could, you could redo this meditation or activation if you'd like, or you can, you know, do other solar plexus meditations, but I highly recommend setting the intention you can wear yellow for a week working with the crystals um ask for your solar plexus to be uh healed and in and, and worked on in the astral as you sleep very powerful and then next we're going we're going to do the heart which is a really big one 
Diana says, as soon as we released the Violet Flame, purple bonfire and a giant phoenix came out. Wow, that's awesome. Cynthia, thank you. Your activations are powerful. Thank you, Cynthia. Jay, so cool. Uh, Karen, so powerful. Felt amazing. Robin, feeling clear. My solar plexus feels good. Uh, Flash says, Sasquatch joined you today also. That's amazing. That's so cool. Yeah, they've been hanging out. They are incredible. I love them. They've been in my dreams a lot. They've been helping me a lot in the astral. Colleen felt actually felt movement in your solar plexus. That's awesome. I was wondering if anybody was going to feel like the physical sensations. Shannon, late caught, caught right up. Felt so much powerful energy and light pulsating. Beautiful. Anyone know Gigi Young? That name sounds familiar. Uh, I'll have to write her down. Gigi Young. Look into her. All right. Golden geometric shapes. Orange and white. Michelle guides and star family cleared so much. That's awesome. Cole saw light waves and felt activated. Beautiful. Oh, Elizabeth, welcome. Your first time. Thank you for being here. We do this incredible stuff every single week. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. I'm probably going to need to take a nap after this. Actually, I'm feeling pretty energized um, from this. But uh, yeah, from that DNA activation the other day, definitely going to need some rest. Make sure that you drink plenty of water. You are receiving a lot of light codes through this. Thank you, Shannon. I really appreciate that. And if you guys want to uh, donate to the channel, there's also a buy me a coffee link in the description. Thank you so much. Did somebody else? Okay, think that's it. I'm hungry. Can you hear my stomach rumbling? Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I will see you guys on Wednesday. So we have Katie coming on for Starseed Chats. She's a member of the community, like I said. Uh, don't forget to like this video. If you're here right now or watching the replay, it really helps the channel. And then next Sunday, we'll be doing the heart chakra, which is so important. One of the most important things is the heart. And if you really want to connect with your star family, the heart is how you do it in the divine. Okay. Still tired from yesterday. Me too, Marcus. Oh my gosh. That was, that was intense. I slept all day after the activation and then I slept up until I had to get ready for the activation today. <laughs> That's good. Get your rest, drink your water, and I will see you guys Wednesday night. Thank you so much and take care. Happy Sunday.